I think globalization is um, trying to... I think globalization has to do with that. Globalization is when... Me, uh, globalization is... Well, globalization in its most basic form is... The world is becoming a smaller place because globalization is all around us. As citizens of a global community, we must acknowledge this reality and its effects on us as college students. Well, globalization in its most basic form is, is about greater connections around the world and around the globe. Globalization just happening in people movement, that we have migration, immigration happening, of people moving around the world in greater numbers and with greater access to move to new places. And um, that movement in itself then affects the economic and the cultural globalization that happens. From Namibia, country in Southwest Africa. What made me come to Kabul is more like um, coming from a developing country. It's everyone's dream to go to a developing country where you get better education and make it easier for you to achieve your dreams. that many of the products that we have now are made from other places around the world and the, the fact that we have corporations that are now no longer American corporations or Japanese corporations but they're worldwide corporations. So just within the exchange of money we see glo economic globalization happening. You could buy anything on eBay from around the world. Like you could buy like a car maybe on eBay <laughs> that was made and sold in India, Japan, US, Taiwan and in Europe the same car for a cheaper rate. For the most part, globalization seems to be a mixed blessing, offering both positive and negative effects on the world as a whole. Diversity is, is one of the biggest positive things, is that we are just um, much more um, aware of what happens around the world, uh, both in terms of the uniqueness of other people and other people's cultures, but also we're more aware of some of the, the difficulties that other people face around the world. So we can effectively communicate and work out problems, um, like when they, when they created the United Nations, um, that was something to get everybody on the same page about issues that were going on across the world. The gap between the rich and the poor internationally continues to grow. As we have corporations out there, it's, it's what a term that, that's often used is the race to the bottom. Corporations are, are now kind of out there in the world looking for places where they can pay the lowest wages, where they have the fewest unions, and where they have the fewest environmental restrictions. Um, that creates this, this, this tension that exists and it means that, that a lot of people are losing jobs and they may lose jobs very quickly if the corporation is able to find um, people who will work for less. Uh, outsourcing is mainly the biggest concern. Like now you don't have to actually be physically in an office to have your taxes done. You can send it over to a company in um, India, for instance, who, can, who will do it for a lot less money, fax it back to you the same day, and pretty much, you know, get rid of a whole section of people. It's very difficult for somebody not to participate in the globalization process, and that's not a bad thing. We can hardly take ourselves outside of, of globalization. Um, as a teacher, I think uh, globalization it can be a great benefit to us uh, because we are able now, much through technology, to be able to access resources that are not just in our immediate vicinity, and, and um, students who are able to travel to the other side of the globe or across the ocean to, to do education is a part of globalization and, and I think it's a, it's a, has a tremendous benefit to a college student's education. The internet is something that helps increase globalization because it's actually helped to make the world a smaller place. You can share information with uh, everyone in the world. It doesn't take, you know, mail is, you know, instantaneous now. I think it's important that we have um, a global view um, of how the world works because once we understand that then we can look at ourselves and see what we need to improve on with our own, within our own country. Around the world and as the chance to access resources and to share resources in a new way, uh, globalization could be one of the things that will save our planet but it's going to require a lot of cooperation rather than, rather than competition in order for that to take place and so it'll be interesting to see where it goes and it could go 
both negative or positive, and um, we have yet to see.